Hey, good afternoon. This is Wilfredo Aguilar bringing you the word of the day. Um, good evening. It's actually getting late. Um, Deuteronomy 17, 715. Open to blessing is the, um, the name of this uh, word of today. Um, open to blessings. Um, it says, the Lord will remove all sickness from you. As of all those dreadful Egyptian disease you experience, the Lord won't put them on you, but He will inflict them on all who hate you. All who hate you will get those diseases, but not you. Okay, so today, uh, open to blessings. Uh, this uh, is a blessing to know. Um, uh, we, we're not sure what the future holds. Um, but we do know what the Word of God says, and, and when it comes to to um, to the new covenant, um, to the new covenant of Jesus, um, of His work, of His obedience, um, our work might not. I mean, uh, individuals individuals could have um, certain reliance on their works on their flesh like um some believers some people following god would would have a reliance if they're keeping um uh, everything in order uh they feel strong they might rely on on the flesh they might rely on the flesh uh instead of the works that is done of jesus and the same way um people who see themselves if they don't see that they they have um, the works of the flesh, uh, they probably lacking, they probably um, um, they haven't accomplished anything much. Uh, they're, they're good trolling, but they're not. They haven't done anything really, uh, so they don't have that that boast uh, in their flesh of their accomplishments. On the other hand, there's somebody that could. Uh, boast of their accomplishments that because of their work they have a house because of their work they have a good a good bank account what, whatever the situation might be um there will be somebody boasting on their flesh and there will be somebody who really can boast on their flesh uh either one um needs to rely to be open to the blessings in Jesus, in his work, because none of them, whether you boast or don't boast or really feel bad, um, e either one uh, cannot, cannot, um, they cannot, they cannot achieve what, um, what Jesus, what Jesus did. That's, that's a fact. That's true. Uh, so that's why uh, when you open yourself, when you open to recognize that in your life, then you'll be able to to um, uh, to hide in his in his works, in the in the in the work, the passion that Jesus uh, uh, did in the cross. Uh, when he went to the cross, when he died for us, for you got to take it personal. It's it's for us. It's for me. He died for me. He he did it for me. And then you remember it. You remember it. Then you you're opening yourself to the blessing of God. Uh, so it's interesting. Uh, somebody was pointing out that uh, that it doesn't say in the name of God every knee will bow down or in the name of Jehovah uh, because that was the name of God in the Old Testament. That great I am that I am. It doesn't say in the New Testament that. Uh, in the name of Jehovah, all knees will bow down. No, it says in the name of Jesus. So you want to open yourself um, to the blessings of God by confessing the name of Jesus. Uh, and that's something of a kingship. See, Jesus is not coming uh, to be king. He already was king. Um, when he wrote the mule, uh, that's a sign of kingship. That's what uh, they did to Solomon when they, um, when they, um, when David gave him the throne. Solomon rode the donkey, the mule, um, and um, that's what Jesus did. So he's not trying to be king. He's already king. The thing is that his um, his uh, work goes beyond just a a, a, a kingship. 
he's he's he 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 sanctified the heavens and sang and 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 did the restoration of the of the earth and it's a big work it's a big work so now when we come to Jesus we open ourselves for the blessings so imagine that God removes all sickness from you and all the dreadful that this is means diseases that are going on I, I mean I last last time I was watching the 25 million people um dying in the 1300 because of the black black plague um it was uh 25 million one third of europe europe die because of that plague but he says here god gives a promise he says uh let's let's read the whole the whole chapter he says if you listen to this case laws and follow them carefully the lord your god will keep the covenant and display the loyalty he promised uh, your ancestors he will love you bless you and multiply you he will bless the fruit of your wombs and the fruit of your fertile land all your grain your wine your oil and the offspring of your cattle and flocks upon the very fertile land and the sword of your ancestors to give you uh, you will be more blessed than any other groups of people no one will be sterile or infertile not among uh, not among you or your animals the lord will remove all sickness from you as as for your dread uh, those dreadful the egyptian disease you will experience the lord won't put them on you but it will inflict them on those who hate you uh, you will destroy all the peoples that the lord your god is handling over to you show them no pity and don't deserve their gods because that would trap be a trap for you um it's interesting that uh in the old testament um the people of god actually destroy destroy people kill people uh people that are, god wanted to be destroyed uh in this new testament in the new covenant we don't fight against flesh anymore our it's not the fight of our neighbors um or other people we fight spiritual it's a, a spiritual beings that um that uh that we fight for, uh, to uh now in the new testament so so we we were we are commanded to destroy in the name of jesus spiritual beings that um that, that do not uh, come under the authority of jesus um they want to um manifest uh they manifest through sickness they manifest manifest through through chaos in the world so we are come we come we we are called to be destroyers of that destroyers of the spiritual beings so we don't fight individuals flesh we don't fight flesh but we fight a, sp a spiritual warfare and we fight it by resting by resting in the works of jesus we open ourselves to the blessing and let god put those enemies in the sole of our foot um that's how we fight today uh it's not the same fight as before uh david used to be a champion destroying uh killing uh the enemies the philistines um uh the enemies of god there were there there were literal 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 enemies now we have spiritual enemies we have spiritual enemies that are um, on their way to condemnation. Uh, for example, the prince of the, the what is called the prince of the world, the devil. Um, he was a liar from the beginning. Uh, he in his on his way to to the lake of fire. Um, we have all this um, people that are don't they don't want to believe in Jesus. They don't sum, submit to Jesus. Um, uh, we don't know their heart. We don't know their heart. We don't know what, um, how God can bring them. The, our idea is to pray for them, to pray for them, to reach them out in the name of Jesus. Pray for them that God uh, soften, soften their hearts. Because sometimes people laugh about Jesus, but we we can't. We don't come against them. We 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 ask. We pray that God touches them, and they become believers. Uh, they change their mind. Um, and God can do it through different ways, through uh, encounters, um, through something simple. Um, God can soft, soften their hearts 
and uh, and they become a believer. Um, it's a, it's it's interesting that a lot of people that are in in Christ they don't because they don't know the gospel, the the word of God, they sometimes don't believe. They don't believe, um, and they live a natural life. They don't live a supernatural life. They live a natural life, almost like a scientist. Um, but it's interesting that they do claim to believe in Jesus. They do claim to follow Jesus. So, but they don't have that supernatural uh, thing to it. It's it's just a natural, and nothing from the natural will pretty much last. Um, natural tends to go down. Well, today that was it. Open yourself to the blessing by coming to the sacrifice of Jesus, to the works of Jesus. Don't rely on your flesh. God loves you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.